you guys look how beautiful it is rainy like crazy but the sun is out isn't it beautiful i love it good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon how are you guys i got up from work early so i am going to start with dinner why do i look like i am questioning myself so i'm going to start dinner and i am making uh, salmon i'm going to bake the salmon and i'm going to roast some cauliflower that we got from costco and see how it turns out it's been a while since i make the salmon and the cauliflower so hopefully oh my god you guys i'm sorry about the glare it was raining cats and dogs before and look at it now like this weather is crazy excuse the glare guys i wanted to show you I am not embarrassed because I've been doing this forever, but I want to ask you guys, do any of you, any, any of you do this? Guess what I have in here? All my baking supplies. This is where I store them. And it used to be worse because I used to store all my pots and pans. I don't do that anymore. But my boyfriend's like, okay, so the oven is for you to store stuff or is it for us to use it someday? I said, yeah, we can use it. I actually take everything out when I'm going to use it and then I put everything back in when it's, um, when it gets to cool down and why not? It doesn't bother anyone. So this is where I store my stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> okay guys, so first I would like to wash my cutting board because I usually have it standing up there and since I'm going to put food I want to clean it very well and of course you're going to wash my hands wash my hands and another thing that I do I don't know if you guys do it as well but I like to um, wash any vegetables before I start cutting. I don't know if you have to wash the cauliflower. Well, not wash it, wash it, but I rinse it out. It's just something that I like to do. I think I'm gonna make all of them. So now what I do, I wash my hands again, because now I took all the ingredients and I have everything ready. Okay, some paper towel. And guys, I store my clean, I, this is where I dry my dishes once they're dry, in my dishwasher. I don't have them out laying like that. So what I do, I, this oil is done this is actually olive oil, so I sprinkle a little bit like that, drizzle, a little bit of olive oil, then I take a little bit of ground pepper. I really, I'm not crazy about the ground pepper. I feel like it's too hot for me, but my, my boyfriend likes it. And then I take a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Ground a little bit of for taste, and then I will put a little bit of garlic salt, just a tiny bit, like that. My hands again. Okay, now, so we're gonna make the salmon now. So I'm gonna take, we only gonna make two, I'm only gonna make two pieces because it's just me and my boyfriend. I don't put any oil, um, spam or anything like that on the uh, pan sheet, cooking sheet. I 
washed my hands already. And now I'm gonna wash it again. This salmon from, um, this salmon from Whole Foods is really good. It's so tasty. I love the salmon from Whole Foods. So what I do, I take a lemon and then I'll cut it. I will take the slices of lemon and put it under the pieces of salmon. You see one? One. And then two. Okay. My kitchen is small, so I have to be like, <laughs> so, but guys, you gotta wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands every time you start, you're cooking anything because you don't know what you can cross contaminate, and ugh, especially fish and um, chicken. So what I, I'm gonna take the olive oil, this is olive oil, and I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit just a little a little drizzle right and I like to use the garlic salt a little bit as well if you want to put pink Himalayan salt then okay but the garlic salt it's already salty enough so i don't i don't put it i do add a little bit of the ground pepper just a little bit not too much because i don't like it for me it's like spicy and i cannot eat spicy food i can't um I like to put a little bit of this uh, Sazon Goya just for color. Makes me feel better. Uh, even though the salmon, listen, I am not a chef, so I know that the salmon is not supposed to have color. It has supposed to be like the regular uh, salmon color, but I like this. This is the way I like it. Just a little bit like that. And that's it. And then you guys, what I like to do with the salmon, I like to cover the salmon uh, with foil paper. Make sure that it's covered because it kind of like steam, especially with the flavor of the lemon. And oh my God, so good. So I will cover it, but this salmon is small. It's just two little pieces. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Put it in the oven for 350 and then I'll leave it cover for 10 minutes, maybe 15. I don't know, depends how it looks. And then I would uncover it for maybe 10 more minutes or 15 more minutes. Uh, depends. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the oven. Safety first. And I'm going to put it next to the cauliflower. And now we're gonna leave it there for like 10 more minutes. And while that's cooking, we can actually chick chat for a little bit. I'm gonna have a little bit of the lemon that was left. Squeeze it. And I will have some water. Remember guys, I keep telling you guys, keep dehydrated all the time, all the time. I remember before, 
I wasn't too keen of water. I used to drink a lot of Coke. Oh my God, I love Coca-Cola. I love Coca-Cola. Until one day. I think I was like 26 years old, right? At that time, I remember I was like into the gym. I was going to the gym and I was keeping in shape and blah, blah, blah. So I started having pains on my lower back. And I'm thinking that I'm doing something wrong at the gym. Either the sit-ups I'm doing, I'm doing wrong, the uh, crunches I'm doing, so something that I'm doing is causing my pain in my lower back. So I remember going to the gym and asking one of the trainers, like, can you please watch me? Like, you know, um, my form, my position, whatever. And let me know if it's wrong while I'm doing crunches. And he seen me, he's like, no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. I said, okay, because I'm, I'm having a lot of lower back pains. And he's like, it must be something else because the way you're doing it is the way that you're supposed to do. I said, okay, all right, that night. And that was like for three days. And the third day that I went to the gym and I spoke to the, to the trainer, well, that night, um, I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep from that pain. It was, you know, when us females get our, you know what? It was, listen, I don't know which one is worse. Having a baby or the pain that I was having. Oh my God, it was so excruciating. I didn't sleep the whole night. And the only time that I fell asleep for like an hour, I put my fist like this together, like that, like this. And I just put on my lower back like that. And that's how I slept for like half hour to one hour. And then my alarm went off and I have to go to work. And as you guys know, I work early. So, okay, I went to work and I'm, I'm I mean, before I go to work, I'm, I get up and I'm just like, oh, this is too much should I go to the hospital I said no, no no let me take two I think it was a leave two Tylenol a leave whatever and I'm going to work because I didn't want to call out so I'm taking a shower I'm still in pain I took the two pills in the empty stomach which I don't like to do that I do not like to take any type of medication or vitamins on an empty stomach I said uh -huh. I don't care. I'm going to take it. So, so, you know, I get in the car. I'm still in pain. And I couldn't get out of my car. I am in the parking lot. Okay. It's like 3.40 in the morning. And I think I was the first one to arrive. I think it was the first one to arrive. And then I'm sitting there. And one of my, my friend, co-worker, saw me getting out of the car and she's like what's going on what's going on what's going on and i said i don't know but i i think i have to go to the hospital i think i have to go to the hospital i tried to come here try to deal with the pain but i just can't i just can't at this point i couldn't even walk straight i couldn't even walk like this i was like this holding my back like this walking and walking and my best friend took me to the hospital and I'm telling you every little bump that he hit on the street I will cry every little bump I will feel the tiniest bump I will feel it and he's just there I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm like it's okay now, by this point I'm crying like a baby I'm like ah! and we get to the ER Oh my God, and of course, the lady's asking me questions and do you have insurance? And I'm like, lady, I am in pain. Please, I understand that you have to go so to, through some procedures to admit me into the ER, but please give me some drugs, please. And I'm crying and I'm begging. And so thank God I, had, I, I did not forget to bring my purse. So I gave her my purse. <laughs> She opened my purse. She took my insurance out, my license. They put me 
into the room and I do not know what they gave me, but it was good. Whatever that was, it took the pain away like this. I think they told me that what they were giving me, but I don't know. When you're in pain, you don't know. You don't know what's happening. You just know that whatever is in that syringe is going to feel way better. You're going to feel happy. After that, my friend comes and he's like, okay, I'm going to go back to work because, you know, I have to go back there. And they keep asking me, like, how you doing and la, la, la. And I don't know what's going on yet. I'm like, no, I I. I don't know yet. They're going to take me into, I think I had a, um, I think it was an MRI. Yeah, I think it was an MRI. And, but at this point I'm like, ha, 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 sure, do whatever you want with me. I'm happy. So the doctor came back and he said, you have kidney stones, five, five kidney stones. And I said, what? What do you mean I have kidney stones? Yep, you have kidney stones. Okay, well, they gave me some Percocet. They sent me home. And passing that stone, it was not as bad how I thought from people telling me how bad it was to pass a kidney stones. I got lucky, I guess. I got lucky. So they gave me what, like one of those strainers. So every time I pee, I have to be on that thing. So the stone or whatever that was, I mean, it was a stone, but you know, fall into the strainer and not into the toilet. So, okay. And it's so funny because I felt, I felt it when it went into my bladder. I don't know how to explain it, but I felt something that it went bloop, into my bladder and then I went to pee, and there it was. It was this tiny, 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 tiny little thing, but it hurt like, ooh, there's no tomorrow. So they sent it to the lab, and it was my diet. I loved, loved, loved Coca-Cola. I still do, I'm not gonna lie. I still do like Coca-Cola, but I stopped drinking Coca-Cola. I will have one or two cans a day. One or two cans a day. I'm a coffee drinker, so I will have coffee in the morning. And then I will have a Coke for lunch. And then I will have another Coke for dinner. And that's it until the next day. Do it all over again. No, 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 no. That's not good. And then I started drinking water because I had to. And I started buying lemons and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy some lemons and limes, whatever I can find and whatever I would like at that time. So I started buying these things and then cutting them up and I'll keep them in one of these little um, sandwiches bags. You know, I'll cut them up, put them in there and every day just take one or two like this and put it. So every day I, I will drink 64 ounce in a day of water and I put lemon. Sometimes I, sometimes ice, but sometimes I just like the room temperature water. Uh, Cause um, when it's too cold like that, it, it feels weird in my stomach. So I will have uh, room temperature water with my lemon and I will spend the whole day just drinking water since that time. Water is so important. It's so important. I, I still like my Coca-Cola now, but I try to limit one every month or maybe one every two or three weeks like that. Or maybe sometimes it's been months and I will not drink a Coca-Cola. But now I found the one from Whole Foods, which I enjoy. Let me show you. This one I enjoy. It now that it's better, but I like the taste. This is the one the Whole Foods sell, and it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It has a little bit of sugar. Sugar is forty-one grams, you know, and then one hundred sixty calories. Still bad. But 
I like it way, way better than like the the regular Coke that they sell. I stopped that. I stopped drinking Coke. I stopped drinking Sprite Seven Up. I used to like Seven Up as well. The Sprite, um, I like Canada Dry. I like um, ginger ale. I don't. But I like the Seagrams is better for me. I like that one way better. But I, I try not to buy those things. We try not to buy anything like that because we're going to drink it. I know we are. We're going to come home and then we're going to have some dinner and we're going to drink it. Oh, let me show you guys. We're going to have some wine, okay? Some wine today. This one, I've been looking for this wine since we moved down here, okay? Three years, two years. Oh my God, you guys. This wine is delicious. It's so good. It's a Moscato and it's coconut Moscato. Mm, it's so good. And it goes well with the fish, by the way. So the first time that I tried that Moscato was my boyfriend bought Moscato before. Uh, before we, I used to like the barefoot Moscato. One day he showed up, it was gonna, it was gonna snow, it was gonna be a storm. So we got ready, you know, we went and got food. And he goes, I'm gonna go and buy some booze, you know? I said, okay. So he went to the store, to the liquor store, to the little bodega that was around my, the corner. If you don't know what a bodega is, a bodega is like a deli, you know? And they sell whatever you want, they sell. You will find anything anything in some bodegas especially dominicans bodegas <laughs> you will find anything there okay and i'm dominican so i know i know well so he went to the bodega around the corner and he came home with that and at that time i think it was nine dollars nine dollars seven dollars so he goes like, oh, honey, look, maybe you want to try this one because I like Prosecco and I like the Moscato. So he goes like, oh, look, maybe this is, it looks like this is like a combination of both. Okay. So he, you know, we started having dinner. He opened the bottle. He bought like two. He opened one. I was like, oh my God, this is so delicious. And that's how we spend the night. It was snowing like crazy outside. It was like a blizzard. It was really bad that day. And we were home just resting. My son was playing video games, of course. And and um, we had wine all day long. It was so good. So good. So good. And then when we came down here, I'm like, honey, we have to look for the wine. We have to look. And we went all over the place. All over the place. We even ordered from... Oh man, he Googled the name. So we ordered a box and I was so happy, but we went to Whole Foods like a month ago. It was this, wait, wait, wait. It, it was after New Year's, after New Year's. We went to Whole Foods and we're walking around and I'm like, God, let me see if I can get a Prosecco. Maybe we can drink. And I and I saw it, and I'm like, baby, like a loca, <laughs> baby, look what they have! Oh my god, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! So we now we know where to get it. Now we know where to get it. So every week we try to buy one, or every two weeks depends. They have the coconut, which is my favorite. My favorite is coconut. They have passion fruit, which is good too. Peach, I'm not crazy about. They have pineapple and strawberries, I think. Yeah, strawberry, peach, pineapple, mango. They have mango and uh, uh, coconut. And every time we go there, they will have like, you know, one back to back, one to back like that. And the coconut one, there's only two or three there. And then the rest are all the way to the end. 
I'm like, oh man, I see it. It's popular, I guess. People like it. And it's uh, $9.99. $9.99. So anyways. So that's what we have today. And it was raining before. It was raining. I knew it was going to rain cats and dogs. Because it was cloudy. It was cloudy and it was windy. The wind was maybe like 10 miles an hour. And then as soon as I think that I just got home. So as soon as I got home, it started pouring. Okay, you guys, I uncover it. Um, I left the cover for 10 minutes and this is how it's looking. You hear that? The timer is uh, done. And now I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes uncovered. So I'm gonna put this in the garbage and we shall start cleaning up, which is not that bad. I didn't make so much of my best today. It wasn't as bad, but still. Cause I like to cook, but then I like to clean at the same time. Oh. And when I came home from work, I put all my my um, lunch bag and whatever I, I, I ate <clears throat> uh, containers in here and I have not washed anything. Okay, now the fish is done. So I'm gonna take out the fish and see what it looks like. Mm. 